This Chef's Kitchen podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. We're back in Princeton, New Jersey at the Mila Kitchen Studio, celebrating Philadelphia Magazine's Guide to Holiday Entertaining. And now I'm joined by Chef Brian Wilson of Le Castagna Restaurant in Philadelphia. It's great to have you here, sir. Thank you for having me. Wonderful. And you're working with one of my most favorite ingredients, I was telling you before the show, butternut squash. Right. And you're going to be making for us a butternut squash gnocchi with sage. Uh, that's correct. Um, Gnocchi is something that's very dear to me. It's been something that's been in my family for years. Even though my last name is Wilson, my mother's a Giordano. So, you know, I do have the Italian in me. So, sure. uh, grew up making it. Um, basically, a, a gnocchi is basically potato and flour and a little bit of cheese. Yes. Um, so, what we do is we start with a Idaho potato. These have been boiled already and they're, you know, they're chilled. So, boiled whole? Boiled whole. Okay. Um, very simple to peel when you just take a, a knife or even a spoon and oh, you just look at pull that. it and it just comes right off. Okay. Um, and these are already cooled, These correct? are already cooled. Yes. A very inexpensive um, kitchen item that I do recommend is a ricer. Um, you can have these by hand. There's one that you spin around, whatnot. The, uh, the ricer, what it does is it actually creates a fluffier uh, potato. It doesn't oh. allow the starch or the glutens to actually start combining and making your pasta tough. So I see. That's a great what tip. What happens is when you have the, the ricer, if you see how the potato comes out, yes. there's no gluten. It comes out it. fluffy. Right. So it's already fluffy. So when you get your potato excellent tip. like that, um, and you have it all cool, all ready to go, you're ready to make your gnocchi. Um, the gnocchi is great to do for especially holiday parties and um, events like this because you can do them a day ahead, you can do them two days ahead. I actually prepare them, freeze them, and then boil them to order. That's a, so, especially convenient. For right. Any so if you're doing party. entertainment, um, you know, a nice little holiday party, you can do it this way and keeps it very, uh, very simple on you, easy in the kitchen. The butternut squash. All I did was I peeled them which are very difficult to peel. And you mentioned that you yes. see them in the grocery store now already cut and clean, ready for you to go. Um, once you peel them, you can roast them. Just a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, roast them, put them in the oven, and then uh, blend them. If you want, you can put them through the ricer also. Same process. Nice. All right. So the gnocchi, we have our flour in here. Okay, and how much flour did you add? Chef? It's normally, it's two to one. So if you use two parts of, the, of your potato in butternut squash, one part flour. So we're going to add in our butternut squash, our potato, and our flour, and okay. salt, which is already in here. But normally if you make plain gnocchi, it's just a flour, salt, and the potato. So we're going to start with one egg for this amount, and you want to make sure that you work up to you the, the consistency that you want, because if you add in too many eggs, you're going to have too sticky of a gnocchi, and it's not actually going to be what you want. So, I see. so it could vary. So now once this is mixed, we're going to have some fun mixing this. Okay. We take a well-floured surface. And so this dough, as it is right now, is, is finished? That's totally finished. Just one egg we needed? One egg in this. Okay. Because there's a lot more moisture in the, um, in the butternut squash. Ah, okay. Good okay. point. So we're going to take this and put it on the table. Okay. And we're going to lightly knead this on the, on the board. On a floured surface? On a floured surface. Okay. I like to work into a cylinder. Mm -hmm. it makes it a lot easier to make them round. I can already smell that butternut squash. So, what well, we're going to do nice is sweet. we're going to take manageable pieces. Okay. Okay. A little extra flour. And then as you roll, you want to give a little bit of pressure and just roll back and forth. It's kind of like playing with Play-Doh. I'm going to take these gnocchi that I have already have. Okay. Because what we're going to do is, after we have this, we're just going to take a knife and cut them into about a quarter inch. Okay, just like you have there. Just like I have here. And then we just drop them. These are frozen right into the salted boiling water. So now water. the fact that they're frozen, is that going to affect the cooking time? Uh, a little bit. It only adds about maybe 30 seconds or so on the cooking time. Oh, okay, so not significant then. No. Once we put them in, we don't actually stir the gnocchi. We move the water around on the gnocchi because the gnocchi is going to sink to the bottom. We want to create Kind of a, a whirlpool. spiral whirlpool. Oh, that's interesting. So the water is going to actually get the gnocchi to move off the bottom of the pot. Is all of your pasta homemade at the restaurant? It is. Every single you know pasta we have in the restaurant is homemade. Mm -hmm. I extrude all my own spaghetti. I extrude my rigatoni and everything. Really? So, yep. That's wonderful. 
Now, you're open for lunch and dinner? We're open for lunch and dinner, Monday through Friday. We've just recently opened up on br for brunch, um, which is on Sundays. Nice hot pan, a couple pads of butter in it, a couple of tablespoons of butter. You see the gnocchi starting to yes. come to the service. So what this is, is the gnocchi is pretty much done. We're going to add in some rosemary. Okay, and you're not even chopping it. It's just not even chopping. We're going to take our gnocchi right off the surface. Throw right it into. in, right into the pan. A little uh, parmesan cheese. Mm. And what I like to finish this with is some regatta salata, which is just regatta that's been salted and dried. Butternut squash gnocchi with regatta salata and rosemary. Can't think of a better celebratory dish for the holidays. Nice and very festive. Mm. Yeah, very hot. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wonderful flavor. Woodsy with the addition of rosemary. Butternut squash adds a little bit of sweetness. Thank you so much for Thank sharing you. your fabulous res uh, recipe with us today, Brian. It's been wonderful having you here, and happy holidays. Thanks. This Chef's Kitchen podcast was brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. Log on now for over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player.